Hmm. Okay, marvellous. You're right, everyone. Pick a mix gamer, eh? <clears throat> I must admit, I did get this loaded earlier on and I meant to come on at 6 pm, but I've actually had, which is nice, I've actually had the telly put on my wall now, so it's like wall mounted. It's, it's, it's on the wall, the telly, which is really nice, because honestly, it's freed up so much space. So yes, we're back with the lovely dancer. And on we go, and here's the chest, so I think I'll uh, be having that. 1,600, not bad, yep, I love it. Quidditch. Break, nice. <laughs> Die. Time to shine. All right. Time to shine. What one of us Die. Yay. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Right, so there was a side quest there. <clears throat> I just want to look around the area before I actually continue it. Yeah, about 250 HP these are. Of course you can do. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say, I don't know if our health heals back like it did be oh right it does right Never mind. well no i just leveled up then so whether or not you heal at full health when you level up not too sure yet skills let's look at skills Ooh, learn skills okay so cost to learn new skill is 30 JP and I have 71 JP. Okay, let's take a quick look then. Attack the thing right. Deal wind base, that'd be useful. But I'll look at the others. You know what, I'll do dagger dance first, because I'm lacking um Job points, yeah. Now, in order to continue, you'll increase more job points to learn skills to choose carefully. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, every time you buy your skill, it might cost 30 like a minute ago. The next one would cost 100, then it might cost 250. Just save up the JP points, you'll get it all done. Yeah, but I was severely lacking an attack that could attack all people. Well, creatures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here I come. Hello, my lovely Time piranha. Yeah! 
Right, so that's another dungeon area. Oh bloody hell, did I miss that chest before? Round shield, very nice. Ooh, let's test out the new skill. Yeah. <clears throat> so, unlike before, it's my turn now. when you was in the village, um, when you start a new battle now, you don't automatically get your health back all the way. Dagger dance, come on! Yes, it was a bit of an overkill, weren't it? But still... You can knock cross back over to get that chest there. Eh. You keep bumping me into things. You surprised your foe, okay. <clears throat> Get this chest and then, um, <clears throat> and go. yeah, when we did this last time, it said something about changing night to day and day to night, and that lot, you know, to complete certain side quests. And what was that? Oh wait, a herb used to soothe the ailing, okay. There's no point me using a healing item because um Yeah, there's no point me oh my god. Wildlands crop trail right. Well let's go for the wildlands first. Bloody hell, can I move? Oh bloody hell. Uh, attack for now. Oh my god, really? Uh, oh, and here I thought you fleed. I think I might have to use a healing break. Oh wait. Now. Oh my god, wrong one. Don't want to right, get back out here. Where did that cat go? It was scratching me. Get. Yeah. 
And there's a chest for me. Oh, why do it just when I'm near it? Why? Single foe. <clears throat> Time to shine. Ha ha. Oh bloody hell. Now then. You knock down one, the other wakes up. Not bad. Meshing. Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. Oh, the lovely, lovely lady speaks. Oh. I was going to say, I think until we get a stronger weapon, we should be mindful where we're going. Just purely on the basis that we can't keep getting into random fights, because otherwise it just won't. God, that weren't even a, that weren't even a lot. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Phew. Okay, fully healed. Yeah, fully healed. Thank God for that. Oh, there's a ship down there, and uh, that's a new knife. I think I'll. Uh, you having a quick look at that? Yes, I will, yeah. I'll uh, be equipped in it as well. May I have a oh! Time to shine. oh, that reminds me of, um... Oh, what is it? 
<sighs> reminds me of that Pokemon. It was a Misty's Pokemon, it was in an egg, it took a pee or something like that. I remember something about it. So cute! Yeah, but still, they are trying to attack us. Sorry, Eggling. It's my turn now. Now then. It's my turn now. I was gonna say, does that guy ever actually leave? Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. Yeah. Uh, yes. I was gonna say, let him stay at home. Never mind, for all it. It's my turn now. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Ah, wrong one. Okay, so no, zoom in. Skills. I'm gonna minute. Yeah, wind based damage. There we go. That's what I wanted. So, equip the skill. Equip support skills. Mm. Hmm. Ah, there we go. The show goes on. I oh, wanted the the other thing actually. The wind slash one. Hmm. Right, so we're approaching a boat. I think we were supposed to go the other way, though. Ooh. Oh, holy crap. Danger, level 20. No, thank you. One hit! One! Smashing! So another two fights and I should have enough to level up. Smashing. 
Uh, now. <laughs> okay, these ones are a little bit tougher. See what the boat area is before we leave. Because I've got a feeling there might be a bit of a town down there where we can at least buy stuff. Are you kidding me? I'm in a town area. How is that even fair? Thank you. Mamzy. <laughs> it's fine. I'm getting it for free. Truth to it. <laughs> Oh bloody hell, no point trying with you, is there? Thank you. I'll take good care. Oh, Good. Spend the lighter aside. Oh, light coin perch. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. I won't, I won't uh, argue that. Free money. Well, aren't you cute? What say we grab dinner later? You with your bloody future wife, you freak. Bugger off. Thank you for the free stuff, though. Sword breaker. Oh, if I didn't have to buy that, that'd be useful. <laughs> okay, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <sighs> Let the show begin. Oh, hyenas, bloody hell. It's my turn now. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, 
untouched. Bloody hell, I actually thought I got hit by one of them. Well, that's nice. I wouldn't say travel on just yet. We know the ship's there. But I wouldn't say travel on just yet because we've not explored the other areas. I've not completed any side quests yet, so... I wouldn't wreck because if we're still having a little bit of trouble beating the odd little finger, there's no point moving on because we won't be strong enough. Great, that's good. We literally just ran out. Here I come. Time to shine. Oh no. It's my turn now. I forgot to do the wrong at the right attack. Oh, one more fight. May I have this dance? You surprised your son. Twenty-four experience, twenty-eight plus the four, right? Okay, no worries.
You keep saying this, but I don't know how to get it back. You don't even give me any bloody hint which direction they've gone in. Oh, you get. Oh! Really? I was so close. It's my turn now. No! Oh! I didn't even pay attention to my health then. Oh, resume from last save point. Come on. Right, level 10. That's still alright then. Flipping heck. Yum, 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 yum. It's my turn to take you whatever I set my mind to. Mm. Forgive me. I did it. I wasn't expecting that. Bloody hell, make sure you save a lot, people. Seriously. <clears throat> Time to shine. Really? Now then. And just purely because we don't know what this guy is going to do next. Okay, bloody hell. Say so we're doing all right so far. Now, whatever I set my mind to. Forgive me. I did it. Whoa. Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. See, this is why it's always severely useful to spend a bit of time training. Nothing's wrong with her. Thank you, see ya. <clears throat> Ow! I got your bag back. Th that's my bag. Don't tell me you got it back from the thief. 
I can't thank you enough. Now I can continue my journey. Thank you, truly. It's not much, but I want you to have it by way of thanks. Ugh, I must be off by now, but I do pray we meet again. Smashing. Ooh, slippery nut, healing grape, and 1,500. Right, okay, thank you. Ah, side quest complete. And then there was that bit down there we need to check out. to the next slot flipping heck right so all this is chapter one this is sort of maybe chapter one but yeah I want to go into this because there'll be a town there so I can buy stuff. Maybe stronger weapons and that lot. Ah, just when I'm near the exit. What is wrong with you? I 
ha ha. Ooh, festival garland. <clears throat> okay. Okay, marvelous. Oh, we're up, going up in the town area. <clears throat> Straight down. Right, straight down. Oh, there's a bit of a river there, though. Shall we look at it dead quick? Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Oh bloody hell, how do I get to that? Unless I've got to get the bolt from up there. Now then. I think I might have to actually thinking about it.
It's my turn now. <laughs> I think this is how you get to it. I love how you can just sail underneath the bridges, I love that. Now then. Ah. Time to shine. All right. There. I did it. Haha. Smashing. I'm not sure if this is the way to like a town.
Might be up here. Yep. Yeah, down there it is, the town. I think it's giving you hope. It's giving you lots of money, making you think, oh, I'm doing so well. And then literally, you'll have to literally blow the majority of it just to get one item of clothing or one weapon. And then you're back to square one again and it's like, eww. <laughs> Or as rush. Transport yourself instantly. Yes! To any town you visited before. Select the place you want to go with the cursor, then press X. You can only fast travel to towns and ports. Fast travel may be unavailable at times, depending on your progress in the game. Fair enough. Hello, hello. Uh, nah, not yet. Oh, can't talk to that one. Can't talk to that one. Can't talk to him. What's going on? I'm not got a gloomy face. She's a very cheer girl. Well, we said we were getting a weapon. <coughs> she can't use... Right, she can only use... Daggers, basically. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, we've actually got enough for that, I think. 2,300. Very nice. That does look quite nice, actually. Okay, we don't want anything that brings it down. Hmm. And you see? Just like that. 
Ha ha ha. Sorry if I had to strip in front of you then, dear. Nah. Yeah, so it's just daggers, shields and accessories and body armor she can wear. No worries. <coughs> There's no goodies I can have. Uh, forgot to check then. Can I actually go upstairs now? Can I go upstairs? Can I? Grapes, let's get a few of you in. I mean, let's face it, it's not like I'm not going to bloody use them, is it? We'll buy 20 for now. Go upstairs. <sighs> oh, there we go. <clears throat> Hello. Hmm. Sorry, everyone. Don't mean to creak all the creaky boards there. Let me get up here. Ah, there we go. I forgot to check actually, the light coin pouches, do I actually get anything from them automatically or do I have to open them? Right, you can sell them. Okay. Not sure why I couldn't just keep the money, but still. Hello, dear sweet man. Give me a moment. Now I'll come to see you. Oh, howdy there, friend. Howdy. Just peeking around like you do. Well, now, you've got a special look about you. Thank you. Whew, you've got a light in you. A charisma that warms all around you like the sun on the prairie. Thank you. <laughs> Lady Luck must be shining down on me, because it ain't every day you meet someone like you. Oh, you're so charming. The folks around these parts call me Particio. I'm a merchant, and I'm getting ready to hit that dusty trail. Mm. You see, I've got big plans and big ideas. Too big to handle alone. 
Nice. I was hoping I'd find a dependable sort like you to accompany me on my travels. Okay. You really mean it? Mm-hmm. Particio at your service. I'm the man who's gonna save the world from the devil they call poverty. Good to hear it. <clears throat> okay. Here the beginning of I forgot his name. Particio, is it? The par party will temporarily be dissolved and chapter one of his tale will begin. Even if you choose no, you can still hear the story later by visiting the local tavern. Eh, well, let's hear it. It's out of the way then, and then I don't have to either. Sixteen years ago, bloody hell. <sighs> what do you think, Particio? Particio, what do we there do we with go. This land? Papa. What do you mean, what? There ain't scratch here. That's exactly why I'm asking, little chickadee. Oh, my dad used to call me that. <laughs> it's a blank slate. It can be whatever we make it. Long as we got the skill and gumption, anyhow. Wow, Pops. You sure got away with words. I know, son. Swipe that line if you want. No, I wouldn't do that. Even ain't right. Real merchant doesn't filch what they want. They buy it. Mm. That's my boy. Fine words. You do me proud. Oh, oh, I had an idea. It was up to me. I'd split this whole plot with all our friends. Mm-hmm. Very generous. There we go. <laughs> I like how you think, Chickadee. That'd make everyone happier than hens in a coop. Yeah, smart, huh? Ha 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 ha. A fine idea, but we can't forget our business interests here. This land is an asset. We bought the deed to it fair and square from its former owner. If we want to divvy it up, Particio, we can't just give it away for free. True. Aw, oh, come on now, Mr. Rock. No need to be stingy. No, no, there's, there's a way things do have to work. We're here because we heard there was silver to be found in these hills. Rock and I pooled our money and bought the rights to these lands. That we did. <laughs> Rumor was you couldn't take a step without tripping over silver ore. <laughs> this is no time to be ooing and on, Chickadee. You want to be a merchant too. Then take these leaves and go buy us some silver. Gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. A merchant cultivates a discerning eye through knowledge and experience. Mm. That means hands-on training is more precious than gold. True. Yes, sir, Mr. Rock. I'll go buy some silver then. Look at his plate. Good boy. Uh, negotiate a good price and... Show us your business acumen. Find someone with silver. Better, 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 better. What you call it? My business acumen. <laughs> Paratitio can purchase items from the townspeople. Try pressing square 
and you have to have sufficient funds to purchase, which is fair enough. Okay, herbs are always useful. Hmm. Let's see what everyone's got first. <laughs> oh, oh, should I? Old cloth stone. Screw you, you prick. It's a bit suspicious. There's a guy down there, he's a bit weird. Hey there, sure did. <laughs> Give it here. Whoa. I bet we can earn a bundle off. Mm. We sold off all but a roof over our head to start this business. It's a gamble, that's for sure. Mm. Mm. But one well worth it. The global economy. Beginning <clears throat> to adopt a standardized silver leaf to serve as the basis for commerce. We're entering the age of silver. Mark my words. We're well positioned to earn a fortune. Right. We rise and shine early tomorrow to get digging for silver. Yep. Woohoo! I can't wait to get started, pups! We're gonna strike it rich, chickadee. Whatever you say, Papa D. Oh, if only things could get built that easy. Bloody hell. Eight years later. Woo! Hey, oh, step right up. Today's haul, freshly plucked from the saw, 100% pure, high quality ore. Smashing. Rumors about the quality of this town's silver drew me here to make a deal. But what real guarantee can a youngling like you offer me on its value? Hey, looks can be deceiving, my fine friend. I've been doing this for eight years now, and I know my stuff. Purity is the only means by which you can assess silver's ore quality. Take a look at the sheen on this rock. See the luster? That sparkle? Why, this is the finest you'll find in the land. It's even used in old King Dudley's crown. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Bidding starts at 10,000 leaves. Let me hear some numbers, folks. 10,000 leaves. 800,000. 1,600,000. Ah, uh, one million eight hundred thousand leaves. <laughs> one point eight. Any other bidders? <clears throat> Sold for one million eight hundred thousand leaves. Much appreciated, friend. That one little bit. Oh, right. No. Okay. Go on, take it. 
You won't regret this. I guarantee. No, but you will if you don't get the money first. Money? Where's the money? That is indeed high quality silver. I hear these merchants built this silver operation themselves. In just eight years, they turned this town into one of the continent's most plentiful sources of silver. Hmm. That youngling's got potential. He possesses a discerning eye. Mm -hmm. But more than that, he's deft at reading people's hearts. He'll be a fine merchant one day. He's only 16, too. Soon mm. he'll be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> On to our next nugget. Let's get the bidding started. Mm. Puppy. <clears throat> hey there, pops. I sold a bundle today, like always. That's my boy. Good work. You've grown since we settled here. The town has too. We're only gonna keep on growing, Pops. <laughs> you bet. This town's gonna be something. Just gotta keep on digging up more silver and making a killing. And of course, use the profits to do right by everyone in town. <clears throat> you bet your pops. We'll do it together. Particio. We've got trouble. Mm -hmm. They're stirring up mischief at the mine again. Mm. They're back, huh? Go on ahead. I'll catch up. Protecting our minds vital, but keep the violence. That's a deal I can't make. I'm gonna go rouse the town, gather a posse. Hey, but just a Petitio. Boy, he's already gone. Did you leave the money with your pappy? Because you've got an awful lot of money there. Square near townspeople. I love that. <laughs> Just <laughs> Don't need a bag, Anna. <laughs> Don't need him. I need someone as tough as nails. I need a fighter. I'm level one again. Oh! Cavern, always a good place to look. I need fighting people. Fighting. Oh, wait, I got a minute. I never actually thought about this. No oh, bloody hell. So we can use a bow and a spear. Oh, I think we'll have you with the spear, dear.
Well, we can't round anyone up. We can't bloody... Can't find anyone. There might be people for you to find. Look at that. I didn't even know he had a spear equipped. See? You're a natural with it. Oh, bloody hell. Bring it on. Time to divvy up the earnings. tried buying someone but it was all to do with merchant stuff it was nothing to do with fighting remember oh 600 quid oh ouch Healing grape. I'm gonna need it after that. Flipping heck. Out of there, man. Here goes. Take this. No, 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 no. Where's that other guy that I hired that I paid 600 quid for? Boom. Really? Seems like you're all ready and raring to go. You look just as raring as any of us, boss. You bet I am. That lousy gang's really got my hackles up. Ah, so they're not the gang, right? Okay. <clears throat> the more we have, the more they try and take away. Those ruffians got the nose for coin, if nothing else. They're here to take what we worked hard to make. So no holding back. True, no holding back if that happens. Not necessarily yeah, have to kill someone, but... Let's get them good, boss. <clears throat> now, now, not all thieves are bad. Hmm. New face, ain't you? I'm counting on you to watch our backs. Take this. Think. Ooh, the boss is doling it. You'd really give coin to a stranger you just met, Particio? Of course I would. Folk gotta help each other out if they want to make it in this world. <laughs> Strange to think the wild stallion's got a soft side. Barter in her bruising. No one can beat Particio the Wild Stallion. Too quick by half to let go of his leaves, though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Quiet back there. Stop the muttering. Trouble brewing in the ranks, bucko. Who the frig are you? I knew you'd show up, Gif. <laughs> kind of you to worry about my posse. Hand over your coin. You're making a tidy profit, aren't you? We do honest work in our town, and we mm. get honest pay for it. 
That's why it gets my goat that you scoundrels think you can waltz in here and steal what we shed sweat and blood for. Why not try some honest work for a change? It feels good. Yeah! Give up being rascals and work like the rest of us! I've got a feeling that stranger one, just through experience, is a double agent. Laborers, all the same. Shut it, prick. Come on, boys, take them down. This world's about taking and we're go- Yeah! What a prick. That rat. He- Listen up, fellas. We can't let this bunch of scoundrels beat us. Double pay for anyone who distinguishes themselves. Let you heard the boss. boss. Generous as always. <laughs> Come on. Let's get them. Let's have ourselves a showdown. Mm. Here goes. Aye. Ooh, and receive JP. The more damage you deal, the more JP. So that's job points, isn't it? Oh my god, and you can cure yourself? Ah! Well, I think I've uh, got motivation now to save uh, some BP points up. Bring it on. Boom! Two JP. Real? I know. I know. It's better than nothing, but really, two JP. Two JP. It don't matter how powerful you make it. Oh, ouch, that hurt me a bit. That did hurt me a little bit. Ha, huh, not so tough after all, huh? Damn, don't think you'll get away with this. <laughs> right, right, none of that cliche hogwash now. Retreat, we're getting out of here. For now. And stay gone, you lily-livered lowlives! We did it, boss! <laughs> yeah! What a victory! Y'all did good, fellas! So, what do y'all say we go and have ourselves a celebration? Yep. I say, let's make it a big one! Well... You hear that, everyone? Food and drinks on Particio! You did imply that, to be fair. Woo! That's our boss! Generous as always! Uh, hold your horses! I didn't say nothing about buying anyone! You kind of... Imp just... just slightly... Oh, boss. Meanwhile, Pap and Rocket, was it? Looks like Rogue to me. You're what? I think my ears are deceiving me. Say that again, Rock. Rock. There we go. Not Rocket. I'm leaving town. For good. That joke ain't funny, partner. Might not be a joke. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? You might want to move on. Capitalism. 
It's a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Fortune has favored us, and a high tide has graced our town. It has. However, the tides are always changing, Pap. They are? What about our people? The ones who followed us here? I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Hey, partner, wait! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. <clears throat> I understand the bad feelings they might feel, but at the end of the day... <sighs> I think I ate more than I could stomach. Business is business at the end of the day. It don't matter who you start it with you've still got a contract to honour. And if he's allowed to leave that contract when he wants to, it don't matter how friendly you are with them. To be fair, they're allowed to go whenever they want. It is what it is. <sighs> this town's going to get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. Mm. Hello, Rock. Oh, uh, Mr. Rock. Heading home early today, huh? Uh, Particio, may I have a word with you? Of course. Particio, I'm leaving this town. Oh, so I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. Silver is being mined worldwide now, mm -hmm. and it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. Which is true. You know, once there's a lot of everything, it becomes common, so it's not as rare anymore. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade. Traveling to the eastern continent. Mm. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Mr. Rock. The east is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? I have actually, yes. It is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived from steam to provide unprecedented power. Which it did. You can look it up. Honestly, it did. It was a big movement. We're entering the age of steam, Articio. I'm certain of it. Huh. <laughs> look at yourself in a mirror, and you'll see eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Which you do. Some people do just Petition. have an eye for it. I want you to come with me. Ooh. I want your talent, your drive, your charisma. You possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equal. What do you say? Will you leave this town behind and join me on an exciting new venture? Together we can amass a fortune that would be the envy of the world. Yeah, but this is always like <clears throat> the in-between decision. Because you could, people always say, oh, while you're young, you know, focus on a career and that lot. 
and you could do it but it's what you miss out in the meantime because you can't really get it back the way you think you can whereas if you experience it all when you're young you learn about it all and yes you do miss out on a few chances a few opportunities but as long as you're smart and I don't mean smart like you don't have to be smart smart but as long as you're smart you can get it back again but he seems to care about his people more. Wow, Mr. Rock. You're always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. But I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Artichio, that sparkle in your eye tells me what's really in your heart. Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. <sighs> yeah, but he wants to look after the town. See, your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. It is. But you don't want to leave people if you can help. It saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Particio. Bye-bye, Rock. Mr. Rock. Ah! Oh, right. I was going to say when they burst out, then I was going to say, holy hell, what the hell's going on, what's going on? <laughs> uh, oh, go away, you prick. Present day. Whoa! <laughs> I think it's about go, Pops. 22 My now, maybe. And veggie stir fry surprise. The surprise is, it's not beef, it's rats. Oh boy, <laughs> smells delicious. Hang on, Particio. There's no beef in here. I was joking. I, I was joking. Oh my god, you've not put rats in there, have you? So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir-fry surprise, now would you? I can when we're broke. We can't <laughs> afford beef. <laughs> so, fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? Fair enough. <clears throat> Times are tough, huh? Well, why don't you just kill one of the monsters and put that in the beef? We dig and dig, <clears throat> pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. Aww. That contract I signed, biggest mistake I ever made. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. No. I can't believe I didn't notice that fine print when I signed the darn thing. Yeah, word of the wise, always read fine prints with any contracts. That rotten landowner let us do all the hard work building this place up. Oh, well at least we got to batter him once in a while. And then snatched the whole thing back once the silver started taking off. All right. Well, stand by what I said. We got to batter him once in a while. Since then, 
All the profits from the silver we mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit. I drove myself into the sick bed. <laughs> Eat my share, Pops. The merchant's health is the seed capital, and you need all you can get. Fine words. When'd you get so eloquent, Chickadee? Ah, Chickadee. <coughs> Little Baba. Darn it, we're out of medicine, too. <laughs> uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. Oh, and he, sorry, son. And he were in the bed when I went upstairs, so I'm assuming he passed away. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. Oh, I don't think like that. Medicine! It's up there, isn't it? Get out of my way, bloody hell. Itching. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Just in case. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? Mm. None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. I gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Mm. Hey, boss. You got a job for me? Any job? Mm. Sorry, I, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. The landowner's laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... Oh. Harry, that's my crust. Give it back. Shut up! I'm taking it! I've got mouths to feed too! That's enough. Here, y'all split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss. <sighs> Damn. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault you're suffering. If only I could make things better. Hmm. If only I could look out for you. Never imagined it'd end up like this. I never knew what a devil poverty was or hmm. how much pain it could bring. A lot. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out something to do for work. Boss, it's not your... Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. Oh, smack his face in. Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves. Giff, as if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Giff? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. 
A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Ore prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah, we're all struggling just to eat. Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemon. Well, out of all of them, sweetheart, they're not the ones who look like a friggin' melon. Well, lemon, not melon. Actually, to be fair, you look like both. Hey! Though, uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? Listen up, bucko. Next time I... I understand what like happening with them though because at the end of the day they have got mouths to feed and that lot Seen you look so dispirited. Uh, nothing. Particio, I won't pretend to know what's got you down, but here's a word of advice. Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. <sighs> You'll never lose if you never try, son. But she'll never win either. Hmm. Huh. That's settled. I'll be back in two shakes of a cates, Whisker Pops. <laughs> it's all. Uh. They're gonna squeeze us until we're dry. Fellas, listen mm -hmm. up. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. Now, well, I finally understood. That dastard landowner, well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toils. Okay. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. True. That's why we gotta take it back, and our lives with it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm with you, boss. I do the real cracking sound, but I literally just crack my fingers before, so I've got nothing in them. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that snake gifts place. You gone timer on me telly? Mm. No. Ooh. Yeah! Yeah!
I don't know if we have to go out here. Uh... Okay, another chest. We've just got 500 quid. That helps. Danger level five, damn. Let's have ourselves a show now. Yeehaw! <laughs> hmm. Hey, it's turn based attacks. I attack, you attack. Now I'm alright. Kitching. Ah, uh, royal chest, royal. Bam, bam, bam. Ah. 
the hell is that? A flying lantern? Oh, Ice Sentinel. I'm just getting warmed up. Maybe next time. Oh, wow, well, now that you mention it. So it don't matter which one I get, it still equals the same. I must admit, now I know that I can get that stuff when I need it, I think I'll go uh, train up a little bit more. Let's have ourselves a show now. That way I can get me level up without worrying that I'm going to die. I'm just getting warm. <laughs> Bring it on, take this. I'm just getting <laughs> Time to divvy up the earnings. That was hidden. experience from the dog. I hope I get a lot more of them. Whoa! Okay.
I'll get up to a level 7 and see how I do. Now I'll go see this lovely merchant, see what I can buy. Cha cha. I thought there would have been someone under there. Excuse me, Gif. Huh? Look who it is. I'm moved. I am. Came to give me what you owe me early? Huh. <sighs> Here. A coin made from our silver. One measly leaf? You trying to insult me? Yeah. You're the one insulting it, you rotten scoundrel. Every fortune's made from a pile of these. The little guys. Treat one with contempt and you'll lose them all. That goes for money and for people. What a joke. We've made up our minds, Gif. We're taking our town back. You? A third-rate merchant from the sticks? Ha! <laughs> You're just as stupid as your father. What did you say? The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy. Shut up, that we know. Bit of fine print wasn't even in the original contract. Not valid then. Landowner slipped it in at a later date, all quiet like. Your gullible idiot of a father never even noticed. Thanks to you, we've lived fat off the hog. Earned ourselves a mine and a bunch of fool miners for next to nothing. <laughs> Knock his teeth out. You're, you're dirty through and through. So how come, I ain't gonna be then, how come Rock didn't notice this? Because he strikes me as the type of person who would have noticed it. Unless he's in on it. You tricked my pops and stole everything from us. Yeah, well, too bad. This world, see? It's made so that people with smarts, like me, we win. Mmm, you've not got smarts, love. You've done it. 
You really, really got my goat. Mm. Me. Yeah, I want to crack my fingers too. Yeah. Get ready, Gil. Cause we're taking our town back. Let's tussle, Gif. What the hell? I'll be out with you. You have been living fat off the hog glove, bloody hell. Well, Gif can heal his minions, so I think it'd just be best to use a powerful attack to get rid of them. Mm. Get off. Where the hell are my mates in all this? Glad about twenty of them. Bring it up. Yeah. Oh, I've got a bow and arrow as well. Okay. Boom. Great. Actually, did not know he had a bow and arrow. Oh, vulnerable! You're gonna die quick. Nice one. Here goes. <laughs> Go away. I was going to say, you can only do the power up attack four times, so if you get five BP, if you get four BP, instead of waiting for the fifth one, unless you need it to help you heal yourself up, I just recommend using the four one. Don't worry, Gif. Don't you worry. Plenty for you in a minute after everything you've bloody done. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> dear sweet Gif. Yeah. Ah! Shite. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Get off. I'm just getting. Let's do it. 
bow attack on a single bow. I'll see if he don't like the bows, if he is vulnerable. No, he's not vulnerable to that. Okay. Wow, bloody hell, you were really unlucky then, mate. Ooh. Kind of. Boom. Yeah, so just the uh, spear attack. Boom. Bring it on. Ah, so satisfying. Robin little. Come on, that all you can't believe trash like you was giving me trouble. Two, two. Hey, morons! Stop slacking off. Oh crap! Get over here and fit. <laughs> now you call for help. Fine by me. I'll... Here goes. I'm just getting one take this. Ooh, once the guard is full, you can unleash Particio's latent power. You can instantly replenish your BP. Okay, press triangle on his turn. Lovely. Don't underestimate me. Oh yeah. No. Not using the middle finger, so it's not swearing. Silveringa. Well now, Major Peace. Oh, wait! Spare my life! Oh. Spare his life, but take all his money, strip him down to his underwear, and make him walk off into the bloody desert terrain till he goes somewhere else. If it's money you want, I got it! Loads of it! See? Whoa there, Silver. So this is where you've been hiding all the coin you swiped from us. We can rebuild our town with this. You won't blame me, right? I was just following orders. What? That's so. Then fetch your boss. I'd like to have a word. It's going to be rocking it. I, I can't do that. No one's ever met him. Mm, I've got a feeling Rock's something to do with it. Huh. Come to think of it, Pop said he handled the contract and all the negotiations by post. Mm -hmm. Neither me nor Pop's ever had a face-to-face. -face. So, Giff, who is this landowner anyway? You can't make me talk! It'll be my hide if I do! It'll be your hide if you don't, dear. Too bad for you. It'll be your hide if you don't. Mm -hmm. Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah. Cry. Oh, brilliant. The tycoon himself. Told you. What did I say? What? Uh, Mr. Rock. But, but why? <sighs> because that's the type of mind he has. The man's got a ruthless mind yep. for business. This was his plan all along. You're lying. This has to be some mistake. I'm sure of it. Mr. Rock could never do that to us. He wouldn't. He would. Because when you've got a mind like his, it's not necessarily about the money. It's more to do with the fact that everyone knows you've acquired it. It's not really to do with the money side of it. It's just knowing people know that you've acquired it. Or it's just people knowing that you've acquired it. When was the last? 
last time the store shelves were so well stocked. Too long. Life's returning to our little town. Hey, Greenhorn. Hurry up and move this material. Oh, is Dad doing all right then? Yes, sir. <laughs> no. Well, if anything, it'll teach him some humility, and it teach him to be a better person. We're gonna work you hard until you pay off your debt. You hear? Ah, you idiot! Oh, excuse me, Mr. Particio, sir. to be walking around mm. yeah thanks to you I'm too busy to be dead <laughs> good to hear it I'm distributing the wealth stolen from us back to the towns folk and life's starting to come back to our town good to hear it sure is <laughs> oh I almost forgot I made arrangements to get the materials you want you're a lifesaver. Hey, Particio. Mm hmm? Can we have a talk? Sure. Uh -huh. We're talking now, ain't we? Yeah, I was, yeah, was going to say. Just be quiet and follow me for a spell, will you? Go along, dearie. Do what daddy says. Chickadee. It's been 16 years since we settled here. We started from nothing and had our fair share of ups and downs. Mm. Yeah, you could say that again. Pops, Mr. Rock, he... Uh... I don't give a hoot about Rock no more, son. He left us in the lurch. I don't ever want to see his face again. I was going to say, if he was a normal person, it is his right to leave, but given what he's done now, I completely understand that. Listen, I want you to look to the horizon. You've got a bright future ahead of you. You're going to be something if I reckon right. Something too big for this little town to contain even if it wanted to. Mm hmm. Pops? Don't worry about us anymore. We can get along just fine with action. Yeah, thank you. Boss! Particio! <laughs> Boss! You've got too much potential for our little town. It'd just go to waste here. That's why I want you to hit that dusty trail already. Get along, little chickadee. Uh, this town's my home. You did. You uh, did grow up here. As the day is long, I've wanted to see the world for a while now. Ever since Mr. Rock took off and left us. I don't regret staying here. Not for an instant. Good. But now, well, I know how painful poverty can be. Boss. Oh, sorry. Well, we managed to weather our troubles here, even if just barely. But somewhere out there, I know there's folks suffering just as much as we did, or worse. Mm. I want to do what I ah. can for them. Use my talents to make the world a better place. Mm. Being a merchant ain't just about making bundles of leaves. It's the reason why that matters. 
I'm proud of you, son. Because of the way it's spelt, when he says leaves, I still think they mean leaves off a tree. Pops. You're no chickadee any longer. You're a full-fledged, bona fide merchant. You'll always be my Go little chickadee. On. Help others like you helped us. Bring prosperity to all those troubled folks out there. Oop. Show up that rock feller while you're at it. Get along now, Particio. We'll see to the town while you're gone. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep it safe and sound. Don't worry about us, boss. <laughs> boss, take care out there. Fellas. Mm. <laughs> you all say so, I... Right? Got no choice now, do I? Nope. I'm hitting the road. <sighs> Going on the old dusty trail, as they I say. That devil called poverty from the world. Mm, well, it'll never be gone fully, but we can at least take the ammunition out the gun, so to speak. And so, with lofty ambitions stirring deep within his breast, Patricio leaves his hometown behind. Untold thousands across the world suffer under the yoke of poverty, and he has vowed to friends and family to help them all. Onwards, this young merchant strides with eager steps, excited by the prospect of discovering what's over that distant horizon. I do want to go back to bloody the dancer one, though. Patricio the Merchant, Chapter One, End. I want to, I want to go back to Agnia though. There we go. Here we go. Oh, the dad's down there. Ah. Uh... I did all the leaves and items in Patricio's possession. Thank you, Patricio. Right, come on, let's say hello to Daddy and the friends. I would not feel right taking stuff from you now. Hello? You do that. Right, there's a side quest here. The goods look so hard. Danger level 2. Well, I'm a uh, level 12 and he's level 8, so I don't think we should have much issues. I'll have a quick look around for this, like, thief guy, but. Let's turn ourselves a show now. Bring it on. Time to yeah. I'm just getting. <laughs> Then. Yeah. Boom. Thank you. Come on. Ah, oh, smashing. Right, nothing here, nothing here. Bring it on! Thanks, Partitio! Oh, why didn't I see that then? Okay. 
Ooh. I think dodging would be a good one. Damn. I'll save the thieves, they're in there. Griff's Manor, I'm still up. Oh my god, I got all three. Alright, <laughs> got you. Nothing in there. Maybe next time. Ah, oh, my favourite little doggy. Yeah. The one that has the most experience to give. Bring it on. Take this. All in a day's work. Ah, I love those dogs. I love them so much. Just one last check. Can't see myself coming back here. Howdy there, man. Now then. Uh... There. Boom. I'm just getting hmm. Maybe next time. Not down there. Oh, another side story. Right, so we got to look for a good joke. 
I remember seeing that guy somewhere. I can't remember if it was in the tavern, tavern or not. Yes, I do want to hear it. Hell yeah! You know what, I don't feel right taking stuff from you a lot. I wanna hear the killer joke! I don't know if you've gotta bring him along with you though. I'm going to assume he's going to tell the joke to the guy. If not, I'll just let him go back to his day. realised I've not even gone up this way yet have I? I don't think. Oh my god I've not even seen up here. Ouch that hurt all this time I've never even been here. <laughs> Shut up then you fool. It's locked. Bugger. No, I can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way. Oh, can go that way. Excuse me, sorry. Well, it was nice to see a new place. Oh wait, was this the shady merchant guy?
So as of yet, not quite sure how to get the joke or this other part of the side mission, unless it's something I find on the way. But I'm going to assume the next place we go to is the ship. I went the wrong way entirely. Nothing up there, nothing up there. May I have this dance? <laughs> it's my turn now. Uh... There, I did it. Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. Chest over there. Thanks, the customer. <laughs> Time to shine. <laughs> it's my turn now. I'm just getting. <laughs> Lovely. Yo! Thunder Soul. Thunder Soul Stone. I'm just getting warmed up. The chest there. It's my turn now. Here goes. Thanks for the shield. Yeehaw. Now then. I wasn't expecting that. I was gonna say it's probably best coming off this now, and uh, I'll get this chest. I'll go. Oh wait, no, blade, blade, and gone. Oh, nameless sword. I can't use it. I need the daggers. But yeah, I'll end it here for now because I must admit I've been on it a bit. Ouch. 
Whoa. Okay, bugger you off. Maybe next time. But we've got uh, his chapter one out of the way, and that's what I was aiming for. So we'll give it a little save. Alright, Agnia. Part Particio, is it? Sorry, it's a bit of an unusual name there. So, yes. Thank you very much for watching so far. If you like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing. And, obviously, following on my Twitch as well. What I will say is, is that when it comes to games like this, sometimes you have to spend a little bit of time training before the next bit. So if this ever happens, I'm doing it on stream, but obviously, as well, when it comes to the YouTube video, I'll just edit it down. I'll still keep all the chests in where I found them and that lot, but I'll edit it down just so we're not sat here watching it forever kind of thing. But yes, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Say bye. And please stay safe.